Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome. Today I'll be showing you how I created this clean and simple card using the Dandy Wish stamp set as well as a border die by Whimsy Stamps. So let's get started. So here is the Dandy Wish stamp set and I'm bringing in the stitched border trio dies and I'll be using that hill border that you see there and what I love about this border is it has stitched details on it and then I'll also be ink blending a background so I chose peeled paint and tumbled glass so peeled paint will be my grass and the tumbled glass will be my sky so this is a very clean simple lines card I will be doing an emboss resist technique so I took the swirly image and I'm just scattering that around I'm not worried about getting it at the bottom I'm just more worried about getting it three-fourths up okay I hope that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just heat embossing this with white embossing powder and then now I'm going to take my tumbled glass and I will be ink blending this lightly and then if you notice when I'm ink blending I'm kind of going lightly here and I'm scattering the tumbled glass leaving a little bit of white spaces here and there to kind of mimic clouds so I hope that you can see this here. It's kind of hard for me to see because when I do my voiceover, it's like a small screen, like a four by three inch screen. <laughs> and so, yeah. So for the grass, I cut two hillside borders and um, the top is about, I want to say two and a half inches and then the bottom is one and a half inches. And again, I'm just focusing for the top one I just did it three-fourths down and then for the second one I just ink blended the whole thing and so here are the images that I'm using from the dandy wish now I believe those stems are for the dandelions but I when I look at them I I see trees <laughs> so um that's how I color them as trees and I did simple copy coloring and I will have those color combos linked I mean not linked but listed below so now I picked uh, three sentiments from the stamp set. I picked Oh Happy Day and I kind of wanted to arch them a little. So I placed them that, that way and I'm going to heat emboss that with black embossing powder. Now, usually when I stamp over a Distress Oxide um, blended background, I like to emboss my sentiment only because when I stamp it with black, it just gets it doesn't stamp crisp to me in my experience. So that's why I prefer um, embossing the sentiment on top of um, the um, ink blended background. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. Um, if you can recommend an ink that will stamp crisp on a Distress Oxide ink background leave me a comment below because the only ones i have is the stays on and the uh not the stays on let me see here the archival ink from ranger and i only have the memento so if you can suggest an ink that will uh stamp crisp you know i would really love to know because um I'm just stuck in the uh, heat embossing. <laughs> I haven't really tested out any other brand um, ink pads. So here, as you can see, um, the dandelion stamps <laughs> became trees and the flower became the sun. So when I was designing this card, I was kind of like thinking, you know, this stamp set reminds me of like, you know, when you go to a country store, like a general store, like... For example, like my family and I go to Williamsburg, Virginia. So it's a kind of like a nice little retreat where people are just laid back and relaxed and it's very historical and they have a lot of general stores there. So it's kind of like country store and they sell like little tchotchkes and knickknacks there and sometimes, you know, yummy kettle corn. <laughs> and um, this just reminds me of it. So when I was designing this, I, I I was like, you know, I need to make a clean and simple card with this and not choose overpowering colors. And I think I'm really happy because I feel like I have achieved that and I hope that you like it. And 
you give this a try um, i will have all the whimsy stamps products linked down below and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and i'll see you on my next video bye